Hi, I'm Kelsey Mays for Cars.com here at the 2014 New York International Auto Show with the new Chevrolet Trax. It's a car you might have seen outside the U.S. since it's been on sale in global markets since 2012, but it's sort of the new baby SUV in Chevrolet's U.S. lineup, and it measures considerably smaller than the existing Equinox SUV. Let's take a closer look. A lot of familiar Chevy Qs up here include perky headlights and a split grill. As you get along the side here, a very familiar profile if you've seen the Buick Encore. That's Buick's small SUV. Actually, it's a platform mate to the Chevy Trax. Both are based off of Chevy's subcompact Sonic hatchback and sedan. Um, Buick and Chevy, obviously, both divisions of General Motors. Um, you get along the side here, the Trax is fairly small, like the Encore, about 10 inches longer than a Sonic hatchback, but about 20 inches shorter bumper to bumper versus the Equinox. Inside the Trax trades the Encore's kind of button heavy dashboard for a much simpler layout with a lot of uh, elements from the Chevy Sonic, things like the motorcycle inspired gauges, this standard 7 inch Chevrolet MyLink screen right here flanked by little storage bins. There is a little more storage up here and a couple glove compartments here. Neither of them are particularly large but you put it all together and you've got decent storage. Uh, no covered center console here in this car here at the auto show. Um, but overall, a fairly functional interior. Now, about that 7-inch screen, this is Chevrolet's MyLink system, which we've used in the past. It has pretty good graphics and responsiveness. It comes with a standard backup camera. Uh, it also has various apps on it, including an affordable navigation app, and finally, Siri eyes-free integration if you have a compatible iPhone. The front seats have a nice high seating position, and the back seats kind of carry a little bit of that over, too. I'm about 6 feet tall. That's where I would sit to drive. Uh, decent seating height off the ground here so my knees aren't up in the air and a little bit of leg room left over which is always nice. Good head clearance too so tall passengers aren't going to be uh, knocking their heads up against the roof here. Um, about 19 cubic feet behind the rear seats in terms of storage space. About 50 cubic feet if you fold the seats down and there's a fold flat front passenger seat that augments things a little bit more. Unfortunately the folding process is a little antiquated. You got to put the head restraints down and fold the seat cushions forward before you can finally put the seats down. Now once you finally do, there's this sort of flat storage space there. As far as comparisons, the Trax measures up about even with other real small, even subcompact SUVs like the Jeep Renegade, the Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. A few small hatchbacks, uh, we're talking cars like the Kia Soul, the Scion XB, those have 60 to 70 cubic feet in their maximum range, so a little bit bigger there if you really need more storage space and can do without things like all-wheel drive. One concern is that the Buick Encore, like a lot of small SUVs, didn't do so well in the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's new small overlap frontal crash test. There's little reason to believe the tracks will fare any differently. This comes despite both SUVs having 10 standard airbags. Still, we've driven the new tracks. We like how it drives. The 1.4 turbo has decent torque, and it combines a pretty good ride handling package as small SUVs go. You too can get behind the wheel when the tracks goes on sale in early 2015.